Hey guys, what is up? Loose House Mist here, and today we are back with another review. Today we are reviewing the Comica STM01. This is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and it is coming in at around 170 US dollars. So let's get straight into it. Looking around at the box, we see that this is a studio vocal condenser cardioid microphone, and this is a picture of it. On the side, it is just black. A little bit more information about the product and a picture of somebody using the microphone. And here are the specifications for the microphone. This has a 34 millimeter large diaphragm capsule. It has super low self noise distortion, has an extended dynamic range. It does need 48 volt phantom power and it does use XLR so you are going to need some form of interface. And the specifications are that this is a cardioid condenser microphone and it does 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz with an output impedance of 100 ohms. All right, so now going inside of the box, we are able to see that we are greeted with a few things. One of the first things that we are greeted with is a very nice carrying case and the material is pretty nice. Everything about it just seems pretty good. It does have the Comica logo and looks pretty good overall. Second, we get all the paperwork. So inside here, we have the instruction manual and two little cards. The first card is to assure you that it did pass quality control. This one's a warranty card. So here's the instruction manual in case you guys do want to read. And we'll see here that here are the things that are included, how to assemble the microphone, and just any general questions that may be had about this microphone. If you guys do need extended support, you guys can reach out and that information would be on the warranty. There's a little bit more specifications. This is the frequency response graph. It does look pretty good. It does look relatively somewhat flat and overall everything looks pretty good. So first we have the pop shield. This is pretty nice. It is very solid and I definitely do like it. This is a pretty nice plastic and it, overall it does seem pretty nice. I really like how this looks. So next we have the shock mount. The shock mount is a metal build and overall everything does seem pretty good with it. I have no complaints about it and it is pretty easy to use. And on the left side we do have our thread so that we can attach it to like a boom arm. And then on the right side, we do have a place where you can attach the pop filter. Lastly, we do have the actual microphone itself. This is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and you can see the capsule just a little bit there. It does shine a little bit with the light. It is gold plated. And honestly, this thing is really nice. The weight is not super heavy nor light. It is just a perfect weight for what it is. And honestly, this thing's really nice. It connects with 3-pin XLR, as you, as you guys may be able to see, and honestly this thing is really nice. The build is just really well done, and just everything about it is really great. So now we will be showing you a quick example of how to actually construct this thing when you get it for the first time. This is really easy to do, and we'll start walking you through it. So first, you are going to want to get your pop shield and you want to unscrew it all the way. And then you want to put it onto the shock mount and you want to make sure that the holes do align. So once they do align, you want to put in your screw all the way. You want to tighten just enough so that it all goes in and so then you feel that it is secure and nice and snug. Then you just want to tighten the microphone just make sure that it is tight enough to your liking. And once you have done that, you are ready to go.
So here is a quick overview about this microphone. So once again, this is a 34 millimeter gold plated large diaphragm microphone. It has really great audio, it is pretty accurate, and it also does have high sensitivity output. And it is really great for people that would like to record high quality audio. It does need 48 or 24 volt phantom power. So I am currently using it with a Scarlett Solo 3rd Gen with a Mogami Gold cable. And it is at around 10 or 10.30 um, on the volume knob. And honestly, this thing sounds really great. I love the way that this thing performs and sounds. And honestly, it's just really great. You guys are listening to it right now. And in just a little bit, we are going to be comparing the Rode Pod mic against this STM01. Now this does include again the microphone, the shock mount, the pop shield, as well as the carrying case. And this thing is a pretty complete package. The sensitivity is negative 32 decibels, plus or minus two decibels. The dynamic range is 132 decibels and the maximum SPL is 137 decibels. And the output impedance is 100 ohms. And now we will be comparing it against the Rode Pod mic and seeing which one sounds better. All right, so this is the Rode Pod mic and how it sounds. And the Rode Pod mic is a pretty good microphone coming in at around 100 US dollars. And now we will be comparing it against the other microphone. All right, so this is the sound test with the Comica STM01. Personally, I think that this microphone is really great. I really like the sound and it is just wonderful. Let me know what you guys think of the sound of this microphone in the comment section below. Personally, I think that it is just an incredible microphone and I will definitely recommend this microphone. Everything is just really well done and overall it's just really great. Now after hearing it, I personally do like the sound of the STM01. I personally think that it is much nicer, much more clear, much more crisp, and I definitely do like it more than the Rode Pod mic. I would personally say that the STM01 is better than the Rode Pod mic, and there is $70 of difference between them, but I personally think that this is well worth those $70. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So yeah, that will conclude the review for this microphone. I personally do give it a thumbs up. I really do enjoy this microphone and everything about it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this microphone in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing what you guys think of this microphone and I will catch you guys in the next video.